Hello, today we're going to learn how to decompose a fraction with the help of Mrs. Lombardini's fourth grade class. So I asked them to decompose the fraction 7 sixths. And just like how a banana or any fruit decomposes back into its original elements, that's what we're going to do with a fraction. We're going to break down a whole into its parts. So we can take 7 sixths and break it down many ways. And the most common way is to break it down into unit fraction 1 sixth. So I'm going to add 7 1 sixths. From there, I can do all sorts of different combinations of adding them together. 1 6, 1 6, 2 6, and 3 6 all make 7 6. 3 6, 3 6, and 1 6 also combine to make 7 6. So I could represent my answer as a series of sums. I could also represent my decomposition as number bonds. So I could break 7 6 into two parts, 4 6 and um, 3 6. Likewise, I could do this with 5, 6, and 2, 6, and 6, 6, and 1, 6. So I can represent this decomposition in different ways. I could do a combination of them. I could show my sums. I could show the number bond way. Um, in this case, the student chose to uh, reduce one of their fractions. And I could just look at number pairs as well. We could also draw a model to show the decomposition. So this student indicates that the, the whole bar is worth 1. So it's broken into 4 6 and 2 6. And they have this extra part of 1 6 on the edge. Likewise, this student took 7 6 and broke it into a whole bunch of different parts. And I love that this student showed that these bars stay the same size the whole time, because they really are all equivalent to 7 6. So they took the number bond and the tape diagram way and put them together. Very creative. And this student, again, takes it and writes it a bunch of different ways. We can write it as a sum of unit fractions. We could write it as a product. We could write it as two sums. Or we could take the entire thing and break it down. This is an ultimate decomposition factor tree right there. And right now, we're going to listen to a couple of Mrs. Lombardini's fourth graders explain to you how to decompose a fraction. Explain to us what you did. So um, I took 7, 6. And I broke it down into 6 6 and then 1 6. And then um, I broke the 6 6 down into the 3 6. And then I broke 1 6 down into 1 6. I did the same break it down and then I did Great. So that's one way you could do it. What's another way? And then I did 5 6, broke it down into 3 6 and 2 6. And then I broke down 2 6 to get 1 6 and 1 6. And then Great, what's another way you can do it? 3, 6, break, break it down is 2, 6, and 1, 6. And 4, 6, break it down is 2, 6, and 2, 6. Hey, go ahead. So we can do it the number bond way, or we could use it doing addition. Can you talk about your addition way? I kind of did it the number bond way, but I used, you know, instead of writing 10, 6, I did 6. You could use 6 plus 1 equals 7. Which also equals five, five six plus two six equals seven six. Great. Which is four thirds plus three six equals seven six. Which is six. Which is three six plus four six equals seven six. And two six, two six plus five six. Two six plus five six equals seven six. Now you only broke those down into two parts. Can we break it down into more parts? Yes. Okay. You could do one six plus one six. So you can decompose fractions using a number bond. You can do it doing a sentence. Or how did you do it? I used a um, tape diagram. OK, can you explain maybe the bottom one? Well, I did two. I drew a box, which represents 